Let's have a quick chat about FIFA 21 and early access. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you've never played FIFA from the start, or maybe you just don't actually know, uh, about a week before the full release of FIFA, you can play the game early. You can get early access, which is a 10-hour limited mode uh, where you can essentially play the game and everything carries over. So everything you do carries over to your full account. It's completely your account. Everything carries over to the web app, the phone app, the, the full game when it comes out. And you get to basically get a 10-hour head start on the people that don't know about it. In the past, it was done on a thing called EA Access. Now, EA have actually changed that to EA Play which is very interesting. Um, the EA Play Hub is free to download on PlayStation and Xbox. You literally just go to your store. I've got it here now. Um, and you can get a subscription per month of $3.99 or for a year of $19.99. Uh, to be honest, unless you're an avid gamer and you play a bunch of games, you're probably better off just getting one month and cancelling it after you uh, get the early access 10 hours. But this is what it looks like in the hub. Uh, you get your hub, all the games you can try out, uh, all the games you can download here. These are actually, I think, technically full games you can just download and play with. Um, and then you have the game trials. Uh, at the minute, you only have the UFC 4 game trial. Um, I'm still using the 10 hours of the UFC 4. I've not bought the game yet. I'm just using my 10 hours for free uh, to see if I like the game or not. It's actually really cool, to be fair. Um, and something that I've been using for years, and I think most people that play Fever have been using for years because... Uh, it's just a really cool tool. Now, up until last year, it was an Xbox exclusive. Now it's available on PlayStation, Xbox, and Origin. So all platforms get 10 hours early access. Now, on a post EA made about FIFA 21, uh, just basically promoting the game and promoting new features in the game, right at the bottom, if you scroll all the way down, even past the icons, you have the pre-order. Uh, get your start on Foot 21, you pre-order it. And then you have uh, the EA Play advertisement. Now, they've actually confirmed here that it's starting on October 1st. Now, Usually, in previous years, EA have actually dropped it the evening before, so it could be as early as September 30th? Is it 30 days in September? September 30th. There is only 30 days, I just checked. Uh, so it could be as early as the evening of September 30th, or it could be 6pm locked uh, onto October 1st. Uh, we don't actually know, but they basically give you a quick promo uh, regarding different things. You also get a little bit of a boost. So, for example, there's a couple of new objectives in there that you can only get if you play early access. I think you can access a kit. Um, and with EA Play, you actually get 10% off of FIFA points and EA purchases. Now, that's not something new that's been in the game forever. You've always been able to get 10% off if you have EA access uh, and it's the same this year. Uh, so if you do purchase this, all year round and you're an avid FIFA point uh, spender, I would buy the £20 annual um, pass, I guess, to the EA Play. Uh, and if you spend enough FIFA points, I think it takes, what, £200 worth of FIFA points spent and you've already made your money back and then some. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool. Now, this is not to be confused with a three-day early access you get just for pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition of the game. Uh, the three-day early access is the full game, whereas with EA Access or EA Play, you're actually only limited to 10 hours of use. So once you load the game up, a timer starts. And once you close the game, the timer pauses. Uh, one thing I will say, if you're on early access, please... Please, please do not leave your game running at any point for anything. Be frugal with your hours. There are usually glitches. However, if you're, you know, you're not clued into Twitter or, or Reddit or anything like that, then you might not see these glitches to get extended hours in your 10 hour early access uh, purchase. Not to worry, I will be making a video on any glitch that's found when it drops and I'll be posting that on the YouTube channel basically whenever someone finds out how to do it. Usually there's a glitch on PlayStation and Xbox on how to essentially bypass the timer for as long as you're on the game. Uh, so I think in previous years, you could like invite a friend to a game and things like that. And then you could bypass the timer and you could leave the game on as long as you want. You close it down. You haven't lost any of your hours. And there'll probably be a similar thing this year. Uh, so I'll make sure to keep you guys informed if there is uh, on how it all works. And as mentioned before, all your progress carries over. This is not exclusive. It's not the beta. It is the full game and you get access six days before i think the early access or seven days before so the game drops the full game uh drops on the 9th of october uh the three days full early access what you get for pre-ordering the ultimate edition or the champions edition of the game uh will allow you to play from october 6th and then early access from ea play will allow you to play from the first most of the time uh the web app drops on the same day as early access we might even see it earlier this year as we have a bit of a delayed uh, release of the game is it's about two weeks later than we usually get this year um, or a week and a half 
uh so we might see the web app drop a little bit earlier uh than the ea access or the the drop of the early access that we usually get uh so look out for that and what i will say is there are different things i'd recommend with the early access uh obviously if you're a gameplay player you play a lot of gameplay there's your time to really play the game. If you're going to sit on there and grind the menus, I honestly advise uh, just going on to wait, whether you're going to load up thief points, whether you're going to uh, do objectives or something like that. Uh, do that, then log out and do the rest of your menu grinding on the web app. There's no point wasting your hours on the menu when you can access the menu without draining any of your hours via the web app. And no, the web app does not drain any of your hours, neither does the phone app. The only way you drain your hours is simply by opening the game and playing the game. If you have the game launched and open as an app, it drains your hours. If you have the game closed as the app, it does not take up any of your hours, no matter what you're on, whether you're on the web app or anything like that. Um, and if you don't use any of your, uh, don't use your full 10 hours, sorry, before the full game drops, it makes no difference. No, nothing changes about your game or anything like that. You don't get extra hours on another game. It kind of just stays as the normal game would be. Nothing really changes. Now, a couple of common asked questions are questions about the thief point carryover and things, which I'll answer in this video just to help you all out a little bit more. Uh, the thief point carryover is something incredibly normal and, and easy uh, it's not something to worry about a lot of people actually get worked up about it and worry and and, and take their time clicking certain buttons uh it's super easy um so at the start of every game you get prompted uh if you have fifa points on the previous game whether you want to carry them over now most people youtubers streamers fifa point spenders add on fifa points uh onto the say fifa 20 and then when fifa 21 early access drops they can then carry those fifa points over and start opening packs straight away to get the the quickest boost in the in the, in the best start they possibly can uh that'll probably be exactly the same this year uh and all you have to do literally is load up the game the first time and make sure you just click yes i want to transfer my fifa points if you accidentally click no if you do something wrong uh usually you can contact ea and get it sorted out anyway uh, it's not a difficult thing to do and it's not something that they try and scam you out of they don't try and steal your thief points or anything like that it's actually a really simple and easy process uh but what i would say is i would advise uh if you're gonna buy thief points and you can to start stocking up now um as you'll find codes and, and thief point codes and things like that will be cheaper around now uh in around two or three weeks time is when they start getting inflated on websites like cd keys g2a shop two and other websites like that uh because other people clue onto it and they start buying fifa points themselves load a fifa points onto their accounts get ready for the new fifa so if you're going to do it probably a good time to do it right now something people are a little bit nervous about at the minute is uh buying the game on disc buying the game online transferring over to the next gen console uh again just to briefly mention uh basically how it works is if you buy fifa 21 on your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, it will carry over to the same branded next-gen console. For example, PS4 will transfer to PS5, Xbox One will transfer to Xbox Series X. You can't cross it, you can't link your account to a different console in any way whatsoever. Uh, it has to be uh, basically uh, one horizontal uh, integration with your account. You can't, you can't do it vertically. I know that horizontal is that way and vertically is that way, but you know what I'm trying to say, basically. Oh, and by the way, the images in the back, they're ju literally just from EA's pitch notes that they released on Ultimate Team a little while ago. Um, basically, I've just been uh, putting those images in because they are a FIFA 21 in the menus. It's just what EA have already released. I just thought it'd be pretty cool to add them into the background, really. Another thing I want to mention real quick is that buying the game in other regions doesn't work as people would imagine. So uh, year after year, people will change their PlayStation Xbox regions to Australia, Asia, uh, places where the time difference is different to the UK or, or Europe uh, in order to try and play the game a day early. And whilst if you're in those regions, technically you can play the game earlier, changing your region doesn't really work. Now, you can buy the game in a different region and play the game when the, when the region starts, but you have to have your console connected both to a VPN you have to have your region for that account location set in the region that you've changed to. You have to add on currency to your console from that region. Then you have to buy the game from that region. It is a really difficult and quite painful uh, experience. And it's something I wouldn't recommend. It's genuinely not worth it for about 18 hours early access more than other people. Like, it's just not worth it. Summarize and recap this video. Basically, uh, early access on FIFA 21 is a 10-hour service that you get October 1st, about six days before the three-day early access of the full game is released. 
Uh, you can get it on Xbox Origin and PlayStation. You can get it from the EA Play uh, Access Hub, which is on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Origin store. It's £3.99 a month or £20 a year to get this. You get 10% off all EA purchases, including FIFA points, uh, and you essentially get access to the game for 10 hours. Now, you know, I think it's worth it. And obviously the game comes out or early access comes out October 1st. The three-day early access comes out uh, to the full access of the game October 6th. So to optimize it, if you only want to buy it for one month, I'll buy it on September 7th and then cancel it October 7th when you have the full access of the game. If you've bought the, the standard edition of the game, buy it, buy it September 10th and, and basically cancel it and refund it on October 10th. Um, I don't know if you can refund it, but I know you can cancel it. Uh, that's the best way to kind of maximize uh, the efficiency and, and basically make it as worth it as you possibly can. I do recommend it. I think it's great. Don't let the rebrand worry you because the rebrand is, it's not anything different. It's still the EA Access Hub. It's still FIFA 21 Early Access. It's exactly the same. It's just with a reskin. Uh, EA are trying all these new branding things like Prime, Get well, uh, EA didn't try Prime Gaming, but Twitch, but a lot of companies are trying these new gaming rebrand things to try and make different uh, platforms more accessible, more marketable. It is what it is. Um, but that is pretty much all you need to know about FIFA 21 Early Access. If you have any questions about FIFA 21, please leave in the comments down below. I'll try and make sure to answer them all. I am currently on holiday right now when you're watching this video, but I will still be replying to comments and things like that as frequently as I can. I'll try my best. Uh, so please leave the comments down below. Uh, thank you all for giving the opportunity to take a holiday. I really do appreciate that. I did need a bit of a break before the new FIFA. I'm super excited for FIFA 21. Cannot wait. It's so close yet so far, but we're going to absolutely work our our behinds off in fifa 21 we're talking daily streams daily uploads everything i'm really looking forward to it and i hope you guys are too thank you all for watching and i'll see you lads later